Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we'll be doing an example conversion on a Honda EM5000SI. Um, actually, one of our customers did this. Uh, his name is Joe. He's with a company called We Are Repair out of New Hampshire. And we will get started on this video. Thank you. Okay, so today we're doing a propane conversion on my generator. Um, I spoke with Matt over at uh, PNG Technologies and uh, we kind of uh, came up with um, a kit of what I would need to do this. So he put together this regulator assembly for me and what this is is this is uh, an inlet fitting to the propane tank then it goes to a high pressure regulator that brings the it's typically 160 psi in the tank down to a more normal level um, six ounces is what the inlet specification for this regulator is and uh, then he you know put together the adapters for me and uh, attach this KN regulator which is a demand regulator um, that's a prime button on it right there and uh, then I've got a little uh, fitting here with a valve on it that will allow me to adjust the propane going into the generator. Uh, they also supplied a pretty good length of uh, Tigon tubing for the, um, for the connection between this regulator and the generator. Now this regulator, what I told him I wanted to do was I wanted to have this on the tank. Um, a lot of people connect them up to the generators and then have the uh, the medium pressure line going over but I wanted all this on the tank and so I have just low pressure um, gas coming over to the uh, to the generator and that keeps my generator nice and clean I don't have to drill any holes in it or anything like that now there is um, a limit on how far away this regulator can be to the generator it's like you know it's it's typically about six feet uh, I wouldn't want to have it any more than about 10 feet away so that's uh, something that I chose to do now the other thing is, is um, you have to make a connection to the generator what Matt has developed here is a very thin uh, propane injector that again goes between the air box and the carburetor but um, it's very thin and it really doesn't move anything very much at all. Um, he supplies it with this extra long uh, inlet tube which I will be cutting um, when I install, you know, at, before I install this. But I'm going to test fit everything first to make sure that, you know, it's all going to go what well. the generator carburation system looks like and then we'll uh, install this and uh, it should should be pretty easy to go here so hang on a second okay so what you're looking at here is the intake system of the EM500 IS generator I will say that this generator is computer controlled there are this is the choke servo that's the throttle servo um, behind this plate is the carburetor inside of here is the inverter and it controls all this stuff with a computer so um, the only part that really has to get modified on this thing if I do not if I do choose to use this wide um, Venturi then I would have to move this out obviously I have plenty of room here to do that the only issue is is that there's this tube which goes from the air box where the air cleaner is up to the intake manifold and um, this will not reach anymore if I move this out so I would have to come up with some kind of a piece of like say a radiator hose to a car that would connect this back up so I'm gonna start taking this apart now you really don't have to take too much of this carburetor apart to get this system in here but it is kind of tight so 
you know, you'll be wrestling with it a little bit. Okay, so there's there's this hose, and you know, basically it's just an S type hose. I would have to extend this a little bit if I use that big Venturi. So we'll put that aside, and these are 10 millimeter um, nuts that hold the uh, the intake manifold to the carburetor studs. Okay, so now I can remove temporarily, put this hose up out of the way, and I can pull this intake manifold off. So there's a gasket right here. This is a pretty thick metal gasket. Uh, that has to stay. And then you would install this Venturi tube, or this injector tube, right here like this. So, so let me put the intake manifold on again. Okay, so there's going to be no problem with interference there. I think I'll cut mine right about here. Because eventually what I'm going to do is put a clamp on here to hold this to this metal uh, box here. You don't have to do that, but I want to put some strain relief in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hacksaw and I'm going to cut that off right at that line. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, cut that off at my line. Put that on there. And put the intake back on. Okay, this. Okay, and that's pretty much it really. So I've got 10 millimeter socket wrench here. I'm just going to snug this down. Okay, there's enough room there with these knots that you don't have to use shaft extenders or anything like that. So now all that's left to do is hook up this tubing and uh, just for testing purposes I'm going to just leave that like that for now. Tighten this clamp up. Okay, um, breather hose should still reach as it does. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to hook up this uh, intake again and then uh, I'm going to take this thing off the bench and uh, put it on the ground and get a propane tank over here and we'll see if this thing starts up. So I'm going to turn the gas on, hit the purge button. We'll see if this thing starts. There's, there's no gas in the tank. I never put gas in the tank until I'm going to use it anyway, so.
propane inverter generator. It's uh, got a one and a half kilowatt load on it right now. I'm going to prove that it is running on propane by shutting off the sale. There you go. So, um, just a couple of things uh, to say here. Um, I really don't have any affiliation with PNG Technologies. Um, I did a lot of research online. Um, a lot of companies would not even talk to me. They just said, buy the kit. Um, I wasn't really happy with that. So, believe it or not, one of the last guys I found before I said I'm going to put this thing together myself was, was Matt over at P&G. And, uh, you know, we talked for quite a while on the phone. Uh, he's in Michigan. I'm in New Hampshire. I think it's Michigan. Anyways, don't quote me on that. And, uh, you know, from what I got out of him, he'd been in this business for a long time. And, um, you know, I'm really happy with uh, the service out of PNG. And, um, you know, now we've got a dual fuel Honda inverter generator here. Okay, that was a demonstration video done by Joe out of New Hampshire uh, from We Are Repair. Uh, if you're interested in using his kit, you can go to his YouTube video. And now we'll show you the demonstration of how we'll do the installation. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to literally mount this to the frame of the unit itself. And the reason we do this is, is because we don't have to worry about anybody catching this hose and snapping off the slim adapter on it. And also for the natural gas side of it, because you got to have this mounted to the unit for the natural gas. So basically, if you look at the framing here, I know this is kind of a blurred picture, but... What you're going to do is off the Honda bar frame here, just below the uh, round bar or uh, tubing, you're going to mount this regulator right here. This center to center is five and three quarters where you're going to mount on this regulator, and that'll go right there. Now, on the propane side, your connection will come right here, and then this will go to your propane 20 pound barbecue tank, okay? For the natural gas, you'll just run it right into here, all right? And you can tell when the slim adapter, after you mount this up here, that's what's gonna go down to your slim adapter right there. So that is our version of the install. Okay, now that you've seen the video on this, we appreciate you watching it. Again, if you're interested in purchasing this kit, you can reach us at pngtechnologies.com or call us at 734-992-2648. And I just want to give a thanks to Joe at We Are Repair out of New Hampshire for doing this video. We appreciate it very much. Thank you and have a nice day.